very good morning to both the classes class 9th a as well as class 9th b so it's a combined class i have uh, thought of starting with story writing today fine because writing skills is common i don't know which chapter was going on in your class so let's do story writing today everybody will note down value points fine and make sure you are noting down so very first uh, value point of story writing is you need to think of a title fine before uh, discussing uh, value points uh, you can say of story writing let me tell you what sort of story writing can be there fine there are n number of types of story writing first one is first category is when the beginning is given to you fine beginning line is written over there and you have to draft a story for the further fine then sometimes middle lines can also be given to you middle lines are given but beginning is not there ending is not there and you have to use those lines when beginning is given and middle lines are given whatsoever lines are given in the question paper that you will be using fine by adding up your own ideas it doesn't mean ki you will distort the lines and you will not use those lines those lines must be used in the story fine if beginning lines are given you start with that beginning and you continue with your own characters and all and when uh, middle lines are given use anywhere in between the story okay then we have next category when ending lines are given end of the story is given to you like moral of the story is given to you like finally that he had a successful he uh, finally he could uh, succeed in his venture so ending lines are given so it it means it is a story in which a person might be failing in the past and now he got finally succeed fine so ending lines can be there you will end the story on those ending lines beginning middle lines dialogues characters etc okay if some character is already given use that by adding up your own uh, multiple characters fine if nothing is given you have to invent each and everything but when characters are given you have to use those characters up omit nahi kar sakte okay okay let's leave those characters okay and then next category is guided guided composition kya hoti hai when uh, cues are given to you you can say cue based cue based or guided one and same thing cues are already written like two boys ramesh and rahul went to forest saw bear pretended to be dead bear went away in that way already all means that is that is you know fixed uh, thoughts are there so whatever is written you have to use by adding up less chance of creativity is there in in such kind of stories okay so these are the categories fine right? beginning lines middle lines ending lines guided composition or cue based can be there okay is it clear to you all please respond by sending thumbs up only then i'll continue with the okay so categories of stories firstly i will not be asking you know and because otherwise it's uh, always it remains interactive sessions with class 9 but today i will not be asking you to unmute and mute and all because this is a combined class even i don't know the students fine so i want i will be less interacting with you all but you just listen and please note down the value points a very first value point is there you need to think of an appropriate title okay up to 3 to 4 words or up to 5 words also it can be okay appropriate title avoid one word titles in the story fine you cannot write one word titles that is to be prohibited okay appropriate hone chahiye as per the theme hone chahiye many students are not written class in front of their names ninth a please make sure okay this is the uh, formal way of entering the meet 
uh, your name, class, roll number should be there, but you have just written names without writing any class and all. Yes, appropriate title up to three to five words can be there or three to four words can be there. Then first of all, you have to, how to start the story. You need to set up some background of the story. Fine, try to use as much imagery words you can or adjectives, fine. So introduce the background of the story. Build up the background. How you can do it? By adding up imagery. Use more and more adjectives. When you write such stories, you know, one can think of the more ideas. If I say it was a dark, windy night, you know, immediately that image forms into our mind, okay, dark and windy, Hawaii children. It was a, a such a, you can say, stormy night. It was thunder and lightning could be heard loudly, fine. In that way, when we use such words, more and more adjectives and imagery based words, then it creates, you know, a picture in the mind of the reader. So you have to set the background of the story in the beginning by using more and more imagery, adjectives and all. Introduce the characters. You can introduce in a simple way, the way it's done. And you can introduce in a nice different way also. Finally, starting with the action that what that character is doing in the story. So, uh, like you mentioned, it was a dark windy night and thunder and lightning could be seen and could be heard loudly over there. An old man with back, you can say, uh, and a 50 year old man by holding his head in both of his hands was bitterly weeping, sitting on the bench under a tree. You introduced one of the characters with his actions, what he's doing. So at the same time, you are using some imagery and adjectives that, that is forming an in, in, in image into the mind of the reader. Okay, this man is sitting something, you know, and try to inculcate some interest. Don't make your story boring. It should be very interesting, fine? So appropriate title, those who are joining now, because they might be uh, knowing late after reading in the group. Please note down the points. So background, then introduce the characters in a novel way, in a new way, or by telling the actions what they're doing, fine? So this is to be done after writing the title, after setting the background, introducing the characters. That should be done in the first paragraph. And do not think that story to be written in. Uh, this is uh, not under first paragraph. This is to be written in first paragraph. Okay, this is the title only. Paragraph number one. So background and introduce the characters in the first paragraph. Clear? Then we have second paragraph. Paragraph number two. Clear? So uh, background and characters to be introduced in the first. Now what you will be doing when you go to watch a movie in a theater, what do you think that it should be very simple movie? Okay, something happens, 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 and you know, very expected ending is there and you can say, what a boring movie it was. You come out bored out of the theaters. After what they are away, you are like not going to theater due to COVID. But see, when you would go, uh, you always demand something thrilling, something why you can say happening and a lot of action movie and sometimes something twists and turns are there. The more twists and turns are there, the more likely to inculcate the interest into the story. Yeah. So similarly, your story should be very interesting enough so that we people are reading and liking it. It's not so fiction that we start, you know, not believing it, but yes, it should be. And always keep when you get the question after reading the question, whether beginning line is given, ending line is given, or guided is there. In even guided, you can add up your own creativity. You just think in the beginning, ki, okay, my story like should be like that. Minimum three to five characters will be there, and then there will be you know more uh, some moral at the end should be there. Only then uh, it makes sense. It's a good story. Fine. But you will not be writing moral of the story is no, but it should be, you know, 
सेल्फ परसीव्ड मॉरल आफ्टर रीडिंग द स्टोरी अपने आप ही मॉरल समझ में आना चाहिए ऐसा मॉरल होना चाहिए यू नीड नॉट मेंशन दैट दिस इज द मॉरल ऑफ द स्टोरी नो यू नीड नॉट मेंशन ओके सो इन पैराग्राफ टू व्हाट यू विल बी डूइंग यू विल बी ऑलवेज देयर विल बी सम प्रॉब्लम फाइन इन द स्टोरी ऑलवेज देयर इज सम प्रॉब्लम ओनली देयर हीरो विल बी सॉल्विंग इट अदरवाइज देयर इज नो फन while discussing the problem what you can do uh add more characters you can add up pivotal characters to be introduced in the beginning theek hai beginning mein protagonists aa jate hain add more characters discuss the problem add more characters add dialogues very important point many of you do not you know write dialogues how to add dialogues don't write like this ram sham rahul no and writing the no i'm not saying it's not a play you will be adding dialogues you know we were doing one story man sitting under the tree while holding his hands in the second paragraph me apne start kiya where will i go now i have no place to live oh my god why have you done this to me question mark comma closes the old man said loudly by looking at the sky this is the one dialogue you started in the second paragraph fine right? jinhone beginning se join kiya they will be able to understand what story i'm talking about okay so fine means you need to add up dialogues to make it more interesting make make it more interactive enough fine right? and dialogues must be written within inverted commas okay and who spoke that dialogue should also be mentioned clear yeah, that said that old man in the beginning also you can write the old man said by while looking at the sky oh my god why have you done that to me only full stop comma closes fine but do not use dialogues throughout the story it should not be 15 to 20 dialogues no it's not dialogue writing competition okay it's not that skill you will be adding up dialogues but to some extent like 3 to 6 can be there but do not go for one dialogue only aisa bhi nahi hai I'm just telling you exact number three to six or seven can be there, but do not write a dialogue based story always because you have to narrate it as a narrator also. Then he went over there, then which which me narration be will come. Aapka. Clear? So add dialogues three to six should be there as per the act quantity. Then make it more interesting. I'm just writing the value points. it should be interesting it should not be uh, dull and boring fine add element of curiosity what do you mean by curiosity when we would like to know more about the story to so, aise elements daliye element of curiosity it should be interesting to a sentence should be there okay make it more interesting add up dialogues fine and uh, there is always a point when problem is at the peak fine when there is no solution kuch aisa incident beech mein आप ऐड कर सकते हो विच इज वेरी यू नो टी इंसिडेंट एंड ऑल एंड देन आफ्टर दिस इन थर्ड पैराग्राफ ऑलवेज रिमेंबर द फॉर्मूला ऑफ थ्री पैराग्राफ वाइन यू कैन राइट मोर ऑल्सो इन थर्ड पैराग्राफ सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम हैप्पी एंडिंग moral could be extracted easily fine moral based ending means you will not use the word moral i am telling you again and again aap chote bacche nahi ho jo thirsty growth story likhne ke baad bolo moral of the story is where there is a will there is a way fine no grapes are sour fox and the grapes so you will not be writing moral bahut sare bacche likhte hain itna bada bada moral is no means last paragraph should give solution to the problem like how that old man maybe is uh, maybe you can take the story to another level that his children you can introduce more characters here his children might have asked him to leave the house and they were after the property and after getting it signed and they asked him to leave at that rainy night he was crying over there fine and then uh, you can solve the problem by adding another uh, more character into it maybe a policeman entered into to help him and all and again he, he got his property back 
and maybe he adopted some other poor kids and he uh, gave his property to him anything anything you can add up clear so happy ending should be they don't try to you know sometimes we go so negative into the story like avoid that blood shed and uh, you know that but it should be humorous it can be you it's up to you what sort of personality you are you can make your story humorous you can make your story uh, very touchy and you can say a moral based learning then you can make your story uh, as per the norms of the you can say as per the problems going on in the society or it can be any incident success related failures related learning related it depends upon the statement which you get clear after failing nine times in one of the competitive exams suresh decided to give up but at the same time dash 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 so wahan se aapko pata lag jayega okay this is story about failure and success i have to write accordingly fine in the in my story the old man was sobbing it can be any reason maybe he lost his son maybe he lost his property maybe he uh, lost his wife or maybe he was asked to go out of the house any reason it's up to us how we are going to take the story further but always remember if you want full marks in english story writing then title should be appropriate good background imagery adjectives scenes should be picture should be formed in our minds the dialogues characters the problem should be there more characters and dialogues and make it interesting one then give the solution of the problem kaise solve us person ki happy ending and moral should be extracted is it clear to you all you can see the whole uh, value points in on the board is it clear beta both the classes 9a and d send me thumbs up quickly i can then so that i can share the screen i would like to show you some elements of the story more jaldi se fine yes is the screen visible to you everybody please tell me yes beta so you can see in story writing characters when you write a story you have to decide who will be in it the people in a story are called characters before you start to write think about the characters you might put in your story so beforehand soch lo what will each character do why he is or she is important to the story as any ki for the sake of putting in koi bhi character dal do every character should have a role to play Fine. In what ways your characters are same? How are they different? What can your characters learn from each other? One last thing to remember: your characters don't always have to be people. Very important point. If an animal plays a part in the story, that animal is a character too. It can be a bird. It can be any animal. So it it should be fine it can be anything so don't limit yourself to people only you can add up more characters like any dog or cat or any other animal horse etc a story has to happen in a place so theek okay, hai story the place where a story happens is called the setting of the story the setting might be a place you are familiar with or it might even be another planet a setting does not even have to be real place see story writing ek aisi cheez hai where you can give wings to your imagination it can be uh, any place it can be any house it can be any other city or different country or another planet aap mars ke bare mein bhi story likh sakte ho don't stick to one fixed thing okay after setting characters ho gaya setting ho gayi now let's talk about the details when you write a story you use your imagination to see everything that happens details help readers understand how something looks how it feels how it sounds even how something smells or tastes okay agar main aapko bolu you know uh let me give you one hint everybody please uh, listen carefully this fruit is of this fruit is very tangy and sour when we taste it and it is full of vitamin c which fruit it is it is very sour and tangy and it is full of vitamin c it's a fruit which fruit i'm talking about
type in the chat box i won't be unmuting anyone today because i know don't know the students i told you yes i'm getting orange yes lemon biryani <laughs> say okay so i'm just giving you one example okay stop stop writing fine so uh, i'm just talking that when i see this is by telling the features of the fruit you are able to recognize it that i was talking about an orange similarly they are saying that when you write your story you know write add up the details add up the details how something looks how it feels how it sounds aap kaise explain karte ho us cheez ko that it should you know if i say you can also uh, uh, describe the personality that uh, rahul a square face the tall boy having curly hair see mere aapke mind mein seedhi image banegi ki a tall boy curly hair square face uska so that's forming an image and you will be able to relate that character to the story so it's up to you how you're going to put the details okay and then once you have decided on your characters and setting made them come alive with details abhi maine aap se baat ki you have to make them alive by giving them minute details aapke characters kya karte hain how do they uh, how you can make it exciting for the readers fine then plot should be very very interesting by adding up dialogues by giving some uh, you can say more characters by adding elements of curiosity and twists and turns fine so let's go for that story uh, reading okay uh let me take you another story see let's see i have not read the story but let's see it seems to be was young the kids see question number 3 it is written so it can be anything given to you complete the following story it has to be a scary story that terrifies people give a suitable title to now the genre of the story they have given you category of the story ki you have to write a scary story you have to add up some elements of terror into it fine see how uh, that story goes let me read it for you i stopped my scooter in front of an old and dilapidated building a haggard skinny old man with drooping shoulders came towards me don't go in sir he whispered it is dangerous i stopped my scooter see this is the beginning they have already given theek hai ye aapne as it is add karni you cannot change it so beautiful beginning they have given by adding up adjectives by adding up more elements and we can imagine ki acha ek skinny sa old man and drooping shoulders haggard and uh, and samne aap, aapne apna scooter roka aur wo aapko kehta hai don't go sir it is dangerous you know i got angry at the old man and asked him to go away as i had to prepare a report on old forts as a part of my museology course he murmured something and stared at me with a strange expression for a moment a chill ran through my spine and i shuddered but i struggled off the feeling and entered through the rusty gate the atmosphere was eerie and the air was still the withered vines on the walls of the building looked like wings on the see beautiful description ab you know ne bataya na details aise karo ki aapko imagine ho jaye the withered vines on the walls of ye beech mein alliteration use ki hui hai building look like wings on the hands of some witch jaise koi witch ka hand ho aise hi wahan pe detailing thi iski i stepped towards the stairs on the entrance of the fort and no sooner did i step on the first stair Many bats came screeching and flew above my head. I dived down with a start and again thought of moving further. Just then, I heard someone laughing. It was a hollow and strange laugh that seemed to vibrate through the building. By this time, I was quite nervous and stepped down to look around. Look, oh, this is scary, hey? It is scary. It is give giving you goosebumps. Fine. Suddenly, my blood froze to see a shadow like a figure floating above the railings of the terrace of the building. See, see the description, beta. एक तो डरा भी रही है चीज and imagery भी बहुत सारी use हुई है. Figure floating above the railings of the terrace. तो हमें दिखेगा अच्छा terrace की railing के पास कोई figure उड़ रही है. 
I turned only to see the same old man standing before me again. That man was there. Surprisingly, I felt a sense of relief to see someone else there. The old man smiled and said, "Haven't I told you? Now come out. As soon it will be dark, and we will never be able to see the light of the day." Sweat poured out of my body. वो फिर कहता है तू बाहर नहीं जा पाएगा यहाँ से. Here was chilly, and I followed the old man in a trance-like situation. Trance-like when you are not into your senses. After coming out, I was about to thank the old man when, to my surprise, he just disappeared in the thin air. Collecting my wits, I drove past my scooter back home and decided never to pass by that way. It was really a scary experience. How do you like the story? Yes, Dilji, uh, uh, somebody from ninth. <laughs> yes, Pranay, Pranay liked it. Jia, uh, it's a beautiful story. Even I liked it. See, beautiful it was. See, means the story is there. Yes, but it is important to write such words in the story because class ninth students till eighth you write simple stories, you know, in which details are not there and all. Then you cannot expect good marks. It's a beautiful story. You know, ne dekho, beach mein characters bhi hai. Iri iri word is there and many details embellished vocabulary pe beech mein aa gayi. Fine, more characters. Chahe unke kam hai. Characters are less. That figure is there. Yes, it is short. The rain is fine. It's short. No problem in there. But if they could add up more characters into it, they could make it more funny also. You know, beach mein you could make it more funny also. So it's uh, up to you. How could you add up the elements? Fine. Then maybe you could write that uh, they were my friends who were pranking on me because they were knowing that I'm going to go there for my project. ठीक है तो बाद में आप ऐसे कर सकते थे ट्विस्ट ये ला सकते थे बीच में एंड में दैट वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स हैड डिसाइडेड दैट दैट ओल्ड मैन दे आज समन टू यू नो दैट वॉज द पेड एक्टर फ्रॉम सम यू कैन से थिएटर हु वॉज प्लेइंग द रोल ऑफ दैट ओल्ड मैन Fine, and then uh, that laugh was a tape was being played by one of the other friends at the background, and that uh, figure was like they were moving it with the help of the stick from beneath. Fine, and maybe ah, जब आप भागते बाहर आते भागे and it was a group of friend and they wanted to wish you your birthday or they wanted to just scare you out of your nerves. Anything can be there. Okay, you can add up your own elements. Let's read some more stories. Okay. So then, uh, class ninth uh, D ninth uh, है बेटा आपको I don't know कि आपका क्या topic चल रहा है that's why I took up the writing skill otherwise I wanted to start a new chapter only uh, class ninth D I'm giving you the homework please note down this question. Suddenly, it started raining and thunder rumbled. The animals, frightened by the streaks of lightning and the roar of thunder, broke loose and began to run. Write a story in about one fifty to two hundred words, which can have a different beginning and end, but the middle must be the same as above. ये बीच में use करना है आपको. Middle of the story is given. Okay. So please note down. I'm going to end the meet. Bell हो चुकी है. Ninth A, you will also do the same. Fine. आपका भी story writing है. So please note down the statement. This you have to use in between. So you know how to write the story. You can write well. So these are the like animal characters are there. You can add up more any other characters as per your own wish. Okay. Have a nice day and do write the story. Okay.